What's up YouTube, Poplar Mechanic here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Buffalo Blower. I wanted to do a video on this thing for a while, but I just had to wait for the right time and the right snow. So the, here's what we got boys, the Buffalo Blower. So essentially it's just a, a big blow pack that goes on the front of the machine so you can stay in the cab. Now this will only work on certain types of snows when it's really cold and stuff like that. So it's like minus 26 this morning. We got a little skiff that came down yesterday, so we'll go out and just uh, blow it off. And if you don't stay on top of those little uh, bits of snow when you're doing sidewalks, what'll happen is, uh, you know, people walk on and it'll ice up, so it's important to clear it. So this is a good little unit. So basically all it is is like a sort of a hydraulic uh, turbine in there. It basically just creates air. There's only one nipple on this machine. Um, and it's right there. You can see, it's kind of tough to see through this cage, but you can fit the grease gun nozzle through there so you don't have to take anything off. Um, and then I think there's a couple different options, but we just have this wire that goes into the cab and it's a little magnetic box um, that sits in the cab and you just turn it. And what that does is runs this spout. So you can see it's on this little pulley system with this motor and it'll just spin and then you can blow whichever direction you want. Uh, so we'll take it out today and we'll get some footage of clearing some sidewalks. All right guys, so right here I'm just loading it up on the trailer. Um, another handy thing you can do with this is just sort of blow off the trailer before you drive up on it, which is nice because if you get iced up, it, it can get slippery to get up these tilt decks. So just another added bonus of the Buffalo Blower. guys so we're at the first location here I got to do this trail all the way down it's pretty good size we'll see how she does like this what you can do is just go down one side and then you can turn the spout and come back this does a really nice job when I flip around here you guys will see that is rabbit mode there location here now here's where this thing really shines on these sidewalks and uh, once we get ahead there you'll see uh, how close these vehicles park some guys even park right on the sidewalk I don't know why but Yes, right. 
right beside there, so you can turn the spout here. And just drive the side. That way you don't have to worry about running into vehicles. Really nice. guys so here's a really tight spot I wasn't able to get through with the broom you can see it's a little thicker there the boys were actually supposed to get that yesterday but you can see it's really tight in here between this pole and this car what I can do is turn that spout get right in here And the attachment's really narrow, so you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, hitting vehicles and stuff like that. So there we go. We got through that top tight area. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope that answered some of your questions about the Buffalo Blower. Um, in the description, I'll leave a list of pros and cons. Uh, generally, if you're dealing with snow, one to three centimeters on super cold days, uh, it, it really shines. That's where it really shines. You know, obviously you can't do parking lots with it and things of that nature. Uh, but I can say for the few years that I've owned this thing, it's definitely paid for itself. Thanks for watching today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.